What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here, and today we're going to be talking about families in Revit. Now, when it comes to Revit projects and Revit models, your models are only going to be as good as the families that you use in order to construct them. So, Revit families are the basic building block for any Revit project. Uh, so, it makes sense to have a good Revit family library on hand on your computer when you're working on your projects because it's going to make your life so much easier and it's going to make your projects so much better. So, in today's video, I decided to show you how to, well, how to assemble your own uh, Revit libraries and what are some of the options that we have in Revit that can help us do something like this. So one of my favorite ways to assemble Revit libraries uh, is to take existing Revit projects that I like uh, and projects that have families that I like and I want to use and then to extract those families from that existing project. Uh, now, this uh, is not as simple as it sounds. Uh, uh, the, the process can be a bit tricky as sometimes, especially because in Revit we have two types of families. We have system families and then we have component families. Now, if you don't know what's the difference between those, I already have a tutorial on that topic and I'm going to be leaving a link uh, in the description if you're interested uh, in that topic. Okay, but before we get into this quick tutorial, I would just like to ask you to like this video. It helps me out a lot with YouTube algorithm and also make sure to subscribe. I post useful Revit tutorials uh, each week, multiple tutorials. And also, if you're interested in some advanced or maybe intermediate or even beginner courses, uh, check out my website. The link is going to be in the description. Uh, there I have everything from a whole 16 hour beginner to intermediate course uh, up to some more or advanced uh, Revit topics. And also, if you're interested in my Revit project files, well then check out my Patreon. The link is also going to be in the description. There you can find all of my Revit project files as well as some of my advanced uh, courses. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. Okay, so here we are in Revit and let's first cover how to export or how to extract your component families out of Revit. So component families are uh, all of those families that can be saved as Revit uh, family files or RFAs or .RFA extension files. And those are usually going to be uh, things like uh, furniture, doors, windows, Pretty much anything that can uh, be saved like that as a component, uh, those are these families. And here if we go to the architecture tab, so doors, windows, components, uh, even columns, and then we have of course system families, and those include all of the families that are constructed only within Revit. Uh, families such as walls, uh, roofs, ceilings, floors, uh, and so on. So let's start off with the component families. So in order to uh, get these families out of Revit and save them on your computer, uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go here to the file menu and then go to the save as dialog. Uh, now here, if you're saving a project, you're going to go here to the project or a cloud model. But in this case, because we're extracting families out of Revit, we're going to go here to the library and then go either to views, groups, or families. In this case, we need families, so that's why we're going to click on families, and we're going to get this save uh, family window pop up. Uh, now, once we get this window, first we have to choose uh, a folder where we want to save it. Now, in this case, uh, here on desktop, I'm going to just create a new uh, folder, and let's call this a families folder. There we go open that up and here we're going to be saving uh, our uh, families. Now, when it comes to selecting families, you really only have two options. So you have the option to choose all families. So that's going to include all of these families that we have within Revit, or we can save one by one. So if you only need a couple of families, I guess the best option would be to go one by one. So for example, you want to save the car family, you go there, click save. And then if you want to save another one, you have to go again, file, save as, library, family, and then uh, go again, pick that families folder, and then choose a different family. So for example, in this case, you want to save, I don't know, let's see, maybe the bed, the double bed. So you would select that, hit save, and so on. Uh, now, if you want to save a lot of families from this project, in that case, it might be a better idea to go here to file, 
uh, save as library uh, families and then just go with the first option which is all families and again here for the name it's going to save save uh, as family name so it's going to just uh, save each family with its original name and again you would pick a folder and then you would click save and of course then you would filter out the families that you need or the families that you don't uh, need so those are the two options now I, I know it's a bit annoying that you can't select multiple families and then extract them well that is actually possible there is a a Revit family selected family extractor plugin for Revit but unfortunately it is a paid plugin so if you have a few extra dollars to spare on uh, additional plugins for this task uh, go ahead and do so uh, and I can leave a link in the description of this video uh, to that particular family but if you don't want to spend any money well in that case uh, the only option is to go here to file and then to either save all families from libraries or just to save uh, one of one by one so that is for all of your uh, component families now when it comes to saving your system families so those would be uh, walls roofs uh, ceilings floors and so on uh, you have a couple of options so one option is to create a new uh, Revit project and in that project you would basically uh, save all of those uh, families and place them in that project and then if, when you start off a new project you can open up that uh, project that you saved with all of the families uh, with all the walls and ceilings and roofs and floors and then you would just transfer the families that you want to use so that's the first option or the second option is to have one project like this where you know you already have some existing good uh, families so for example here if I go to floor plan I have this nice uh, wall which is the exterior 37 centimeter wall Th this is quite a common uh, wall to use especially in my area and the types of projects that are common here also this interior wall uh, this interior wall as well and of, of course if I open up the section uh, the flat roof uh, as well as the uh, this uh, sloped roof again uh, are some of the common uh, common floors and roofs to use so maybe in this case it would make sense for me to save all of these families or to reuse them in new projects so in that case what I would do is whenever I start a new project where I want to include some of these system families what I would do is just simply uh, go here let's go to file and start a new project so let's go to new project architectural template uh, let's select that for this one click OK there we go so we have a, a new project opened up and now in order to transfer those uh, families those walls and floors from that previous uh, project into this one uh, we are going to be transferring those families using uh, one of the options here on Revit so here on the manage tab we have the option uh, to transfer project standards so let me uh, show you how this works so in this project the new one that I have started if I go here to walls uh, and start the wall command you can see we only have the general basic walls the generic ones the interior ones and that's pretty much it uh, also if I decide to go here to roofs okay for roofs again we only have the those basic options uh, that come with the architectural template and the same thing will go for floors so for floors we only have the basic ones now if I want to transfer those existing ones what I can do is just go here to the manage tab go to transfer project standards open that up and here uh, just at first Revit is going to select all of the families used uh, now in this case as you can see here it says copy from and this is the other project the complete uh, house in Revit project uh, now if you have multiple projects opened up you will have those options over here in this case we only have one so it's selecting that one and then you can either check all uh, categories or what you can do is go with uh, check none and then you would go one by one so for example here I want uh, wall types also I want floor types so let's see can we find that or roof types there we go roof types floor types uh, let's see floor types there we go 
So these are all of the families that I'm interested in. Maybe even the dimension style can be uh, transferred. So that's really cool. Also text styles. So pretty much any of these uh, system families can be found over here. And then once you click OK, uh, Revit is going to uh, tell you that a lot of families that you're transferring already exist in this one. For example, like the generic 300 millimeter wall or the generic 900 millimeter brick and so on. So what they usually do is just overwrite all of those. And of course, let's give a Revit uh, a few moments to just find all of those families. There we go. And then uh, once all of this is done, if you go to architecture, go to wall, here you're going to notice that we're going to get those uh, uh, additional walls. So if I go here, we have the interior wall 22 centimeters, the 14 centimeter one, and also we should have more here. Let's see. Yeah, we should have all of those uh, roofs as well. So here for the roof, we have the sloped roof uh, and so on. So we have our new roofs. We have the uh, we have the flat roof. That's the one that's used in the previous project. And the same thing should go with uh, floors as well. So if I go here to floors, uh, yeah, it should be. So here we go. We have our main uh, floor here and then we also have our wet floor and then we have our exterior floor and so on. So these are all of the system families that I have used in that previous project which have now been transferred to the uh, new project. And the same thing goes for annotations. So here uh, for annotation if I go to aligned annotation here we should have our uh, new annotations if some of those are created. I guess in this case there are no uh, new annotations, so I guess it didn't transfer those. Okay, so but that's the point. So you can either extract those component families and save them on your uh, desktop or anywhere else, save them as families, either all families or just individual ones, or if you want to transfer or use system families, well, this is a uh, workaround how to transfer those from existing projects into new ones. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this uh, quick tutorial. I hope you have learned something new and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, and now, if you want to download this or uh, if you want to get a the whole course on how to create this uh, complete house, it's available either on my Patreon uh, and also it's available on my website uh, where you can find all of my uh, courses. And of course, all of my project files are available on my Patreon. So the links to that are in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video, and I'll be back with another Balkan Arctic tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.